So as I kill time, digging around the Wii U shop, trying my best to make sure I get everything I want before it's gone forever, I noticed that old NES light gun games were available. Duck Hunt, Hogan's Alley, and Wild Gunman. I played a lot of these growing up. Had a lot of fun with the zapper that came with the NES bundle we got. But it has been many years, as there are ways to make a NES work on a modern flat-screen TV, but there is not a good solution to make a light gun work on a modern flat-screen TV. Now, on the eShop, it does say these work specifically with a Wiimote. So I pictured in my head it working like any kind of light gun style shooter that was on the Wii. And I was right. Right down to it having a cursor on the screen. Now, it is nice that there's a way to play these games on a modern TV now. At least until the eShop closes forever. But that cursor on the screen does kind of kill most of the challenge that these games had. Duck Hunt suffers from this the most, as, yeah, you can see here, you're, you're never gonna miss a duck now. This does make Wild Gunman and Hogan's Alley easier too, but those games were also testing your reaction time, so the cursor on the screen makes it easier, but there still is a challenge, what with the reaction time. And no, it's not exactly the same as playing them when you were a kid, although you can get a gun case for your Wiimote to make it a little closer. These games are only $5 each, so there's worse ways to spend $15 in total, I suppose. This isn't a review or anything, because these are $5 each, and they're very simple games where you just aim and shoot. It is nice to play these games again, and certainly made me smile, even if they have been made a bit over easy. So if you have a Wii U, and a Wii Mote, you might take a look at these, while you still can. Please do, like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends.